Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious. All praise are due to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, Lord of the universe. May peace and blessing be upon Muhammad, peace be upon him, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his companions, his wives, his family and whomever follow on their footsteps. I greet you with peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is the second, you know, short reminder or advice or clarification to new Muslims on, you know, the most important thing that they must uh, learn after, you know, embracing Islam. <coughs> the first time we talked about how, you know, the Muslim should basically uh, understand the testimony of faith after saying it and act upon it. And we talked about the sources of Islamic knowledge and what the Muslim have to, you know, start reading in the beginning. The second thing I'm going to talk about, inshallah, in this uh, episode is that after you do that, the Muslim must learn the pillars of Islam then the pillars of Iman. The pillars of Islam, Islam have five pillars. The first one is the testimony of faith. Shahadat Allah ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad rasulullah. Once you do that, you are already Muslim, alhamdulillah, and you move for the next one. The second one is iqam al-salah, establishing one's prayers. And so once you basically testify uh, the testimony of faith and you start, you know, to gain the Islamic knowledge, you must immediately start learning how to perform prayers and how to do your daily prayers. As Muslim, we're supposed to do five prayers per day. And, you know, you must learn how to do the physical movements of it, how to learn and understand the rulings of it, what, what you have to say in each, you know, movements of it, and so on. Uh, I will not be going through the details of the prayers. I will plan, inshallah, to make an episode on showing how to perform the prayers properly by the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <clears throat> but I will just talk about it briefly. We have five prayers per day. The first one is prior to sunrise in the morning. We call it Salat al-Fajr. Basically, it's early in the morning, way before the sun, you know, comes up. And it's only two rak'ah, two full complete movements, full set of movements that, you know, I will show inshallah in a demonstration later on in another video. But it's called Salat al-Fajr. The second one is at noon. We call it Salat al-Dhuhr. And it's four complete movement with all the things that goes through them. The one that follow is Salat al-Asr, which is an afternoon one, you know, uh, a while before sunset, but it's basically way afternoon. And then you have Salat al-Maghrib, which is at sunset. Once the sun set, you actually go up and, you know, uh, do the purification, which is called wudu, and pray three rak'ah, three full complete set of movements, which is Salat al-Maghrib, sunset. And then you have Salat al-Isha, which is the night prayers at night after the sun have already went down deep and it's completely dark on and the time for it is you know uh, almost up to midnight and it's four complete set of movements and we will talk about the details of Allah in another video with uh, hopefully a demonstration by the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so after you already you know learned the testimony of faith and acted upon it and went through all the knowledge start reading the Quran and the the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, his way, his sayings. You know, you must learn the prayers, how to pray, everything that you need to do in the pray, from the prayers you say and supplications you say through it, from few verses of the Quran you're supposed to recite, how you recite them, whether it's loud prayers, whether it's uh, mute prayers, where you're reading very low, almost mute, you only hear yourself, or almost not. <coughs> Uh, that's the second pillar. So we have the testimony of faith, the first pillar, pillar, and the second one is establishing one's prayer. And it's mandatory on every Muslim to learn how to pray and do it on time. The third one is not specifically in order. It can be, you know, number three or number four, and they go interchangeably. And uh, it's basically Sawmu Ramadan. Or you can say Ita'a Zakah, which basically paying one's charity 
to a specific amount of money and specific amount of percentage once you reach it. It's called zakah, a zakah, which basically clarify and purify your money and possessions and income and help the poor and needy. And there are rules for it. And that will be another video uh, because it takes a lot of time and a lot of details to go in depth in it. And that would be a future project by the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But a Muslim must learn when to do, you know, pay your zakah, you usually pay it once a year, once you reach a certain amount of money, or, you know, uh, valuable that you own, and, you know, we will go in that in, into depth, in, in depth inshallah, later on, so that's called ita' zakah, paying one's zakah, which is, a, you know, a specific amount of charity, and this is mandatory if you have that specific amount of level of wealth, otherwise, if you're poor, you probably don't even have to pay it, but if you ever, you know, make it and become wealthy, then you will have to pay it to, you know, specific group of people too. There are rules when we will talk about it, inshallah. The fourth one, or the third one, you know, the order is not really 100% because it changes depending on, you know, uh, the hadith that we came, uh, we brought the information from. Sawm uh, Ramadan, fasting Ramadan. Ramadan is a month that comes every year. It's the ninth month on the Islamic calendar. We fast in that month for 30 days or 29s, depending on moon sighting. We don't follow calendars, you know, established by astronomy or any of that, but we basically follow the moon sighting. We fast in Ramadan, and we will also, inshallah, try to make an episode or more, uh, go in about the details of how to fast, what are things that are you're supposed to do when you're fasting, things that are prohibited, to, you know, to do when you're fasting, you're not allowed to do it, and, you know, so on. We will go into the details of some Ramadan. The last one, the fifth one, or, you know, it can also go out of order sometimes. حَجُّ بَيْتِ اللَّهِ لِمَنْ إِسْتَطَاعَ إِلَيْهِ سَبِيلًا Performing one's pilgrims to Mecca. If you are capable and able, there are rules. Not everybody are required to do the hajj. There are rules, physical rules, basically physical conditions, uh, mental and uh, uh, wealth-wise, you know, financial. So we will also, inshallah, also try to make some episode about Hajj. And we cannot, you know, show a demonstration because, you know, I'm not really in Mecca now. I, you know, I wish I was, but by the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe one day we'll go again to perform the beautiful Hajj. And... <clears throat> You know, I'll go, you know, into some of the rulings of Hajj and, you know, so on, inshallah, in another episode. But basically, all I'm saying in this video is that once you learn the testimony of faith and once you start reading the Quran or the, the, the Hadith, the saying of the Prophet Muhammad you must start learning the pillars of Islam in depth, which is establishing one's prayer, paying the zakah, which basically the specific